Hi, I'd like to welcome you to my Minecraft series, and as well as my introductory video to my channel. We're going to start out here by making a single player world here on Minecraft. And we're going to create this new world, and we're just going to name it, um, we're just going to name it Minecraft. And we're just going to wait for our terrain to build. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my channel. My channel is going to be focused around gaming, so I'm going to be doing a variety of different games, ranging from first-person shooters to, um, to RPG games such as Mass Effect and uh, Fallout. Um, so definitely please let me know what you guys think, and um, I'm really open to a lot of suggestions and ideas, so uh, please let me know. And it looks like our world here has popped us out here in the middle of an ocean in a um, kind of like a sandy island. Now the first thing that we should do now that we landed in Minecraft is we're going to be making a... We need to find some trees to be making a shelter for the night. And the reason for making a shelter for the night is that during the night there are monsters that uh, spawn. And in order to keep us safe from the monsters, we need to make a shelter that uh, can provide us with safety. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to get wood. Wood is one of the most essential resources in Minecraft, as it allows you to make um, a bunch of different tools and um, uh, supplies needed throughout the game. So we're just going to get a little bit of wood here. Uh, I don't need too much. I'd say around 15 pieces of wood is good enough. Let's see if we can find any trees around here. And it's not too far from our spawning location anyway, so it's definitely a good location. That little waterfall over there looks kind of interesting, so we'll see if we can find any coal. And uh, But in the meantime, let's go over here and get some wood first. This is actually a pretty interesting biome, I have to say. Let's go ahead and go up to this tree. And for those of you who haven't played Minecraft before, I would strongly suggest you get it. It's definitely well worth, uh, definitely well worth your time. And um, I was kind of skeptical about Minecraft when I first got it because I wasn't really sure how I would like it. But it's a very fun game. It definitely. Um, it definitely keeps you hooked and interested, so I would definitely recommend it to any of you who are still wondering if you should get it or not. But uh, let's just chop down one more tree. Um, I'm pretty sure that the amount of wood that we have now is uh, a fairly good amount. Let's go ahead and get this tree. I don't plan on chopping it down all the way to the top. And I'm not really sure what type of tree this is, because I know Notch uh, implemented different types of trees, and uh, I'm not really familiar with all of them. But it um, looks like this one is darker from the normal one. Let's go ahead and get this one down. And we're going to go open up our inventory by pressing the default I key that's binded to uh, your Minecraft. And we're just going to go ahead and put the wood here in this 2x2 two two crafting square. And we're just going to keep clicking until we can get planks. And now that we have 60 planks, what we're going to do is we're going to make a crafting bench. Now in order to make a crafting bench, you select your wooden planks by left clicking on it. And you just right click on each of the squares in this uh, crafting area and you get a crafting table. Now this 3x3 crafting table is used to make most of the supplies and items that you're going to need throughout the game. So we're just going to put that down here. And we're going to make some basic tools that are necessary for our survival here on Minecraft. Um, but before we can make those supplies, we need to make some sticks. So in order to make sticks, we're just going to put our wooden planks here. And to split the stack, we're going to right click. And we're going to make sticks. So a stack of wooden plank on top of each other gives me sticks. Now, one of the most important tools in the game that we're going to need is called a pickaxe. Now, in order to make a pickaxe, you're going to put a row 
of wooden planks on top of a column of two sticks. Now, the way this works is that you essentially draw the item that you want in this crafting box. So that gives me a wooden pickaxe, and we got an achievement called Time to Mine. And a wooden pickaxe is going to last us to um, to make a... Uh, or a, wo a wooden pickaxe is used to mine different materials, such as diamond, or not diamonds, um, just basic stone and coal. Diamond is going to come later in the game. And we also made a sword by, um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but pretty much what I did was I put two wooden planks on top of each other, and that gave me a, s a sword. And we're also going to make a shovel, because a shovel is used to dig um, sand, clay, gravel, and dirt very effectively. And these are pretty much the basic starting out tools that we're going to use. We're going to get into more complex tools when... Um, we get more advanced in the game, but now we're going to look for a source of coal. Now we need coal to pretty much make torches. You now torches are pretty much our only useful source of light in the game, at least in this early in these early stages. So you can normally find coal on cliff sides or in caves. Um, coal pretty much just looks like a uh, that gray stone over there with little black splotches all over it. So we're just going to see if we can find some coal here quickly. And then as soon as we can find coal, we'll be able to make a shelter for the night. Now, as I was saying about the night, on your first your first Minecraft day, you have until the sun rises, which is as soon as you enter the game, to the time it sets. So the sun is going to rise, and as soon as it reaches around midday, which is directly above your head, it's going to start falling down. It's falling down right now, so I really need to um, get moving here quickly and see if I can find some coal. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck in the dark for the night, and we don't want to be stuck in the dark because darkness is exactly where monsters spawn. See if we can find some something behind uh, some of this dirt. Doesn't look like there's any coal around here. L let's look around the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, we can find some soon, because we really don't have that much that much time. And we still really need to make a shelter, which takes a little bit of time. But it looks like there's some coal over there, so we're going to go check it out. Yes. And hopefully there's more coal behind that. Because I know coal usually comes in large veins. So let's just mine this out. Yes. Coal usually comes in veins of around four pieces or more. It's really rare to see small veins of coal where it's just kind of by itself. So, this is a pretty good vein here. We're going to get a lot of uh, starting coal which we can use. And this would also make for a good shelter for the night because I know night is coming upon us very, very quickly. Okay. And how much time do we have left? Yeah, it's becoming nighttime very, very fast. So we're going to put our crafting bench right down here. And we're going to need to make a door. So in order to make a door, we just pretty much put two columns of wooden planks. And wooden doors are useful if you know how to use them. So many people don't know how to use them. I've seen a lot of people who use them incorrectly. The way you want to place a door is you want to place it here on the outside by right-clicking. The reason for that is if you place it on the outside, you have skeletons that won't be able to shoot inside through your door. And skeletons are one of the few, 
few monsters that um, that I'm talking about that come out during the night. And now that we have a door, let's just make some torches so that we can light it up. There we go, 56 torches. That should be plenty for this little hidey hole right here. And nighttime is full closing upon us very quickly. So um, that's pretty much it for the first night. It's really, really simple. The first night on Minecraft is pretty much to survive. And as you guys can see, um, the ground is slowly getting darker as time passes. And um, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, this is my first commentary, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if there's anything that I can improve on or anything that I, I can work on, please tell me and I'll be sure to work on it. Subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll leave any suggestions or ideas that you guys want to see me use in the future. Thank you very much.